Hello and welcome back to another video. I am in fact not dead and I'm going to make some more videos on the basics of the algebra of physical space but specifically in or I'm going to be doing a series on special relativity using the algebra of physical space which is also known as 3D geometric algebra or 3D van vanilla geometric algebra but it's also equivalent to a well-known space in physics uh, called the Pauli algebra, or well-known algebra in, in physics called the Pauli algebra. Here I'll call it the Pauli algebra of space, or I'll say APS, or I'll just say 3D VGA. They all mean the same thing. We're going to be working the same thing. And so basically what, what that is, is we're going to be working in this algebraic space right here. I'm assuming some familiarity with geometric algebra because I'm going to be going into the applications of it, or into special relativity, and not the basics of geometric algebra. So I'll teach you how to use it, but I won't teach you what it is. So the space we're working in is frequently denoted G3, and this is equivalent to the Clifford algebra of three dimensions, but it's viewed as an extension of the real number system with three unipotent vectors, three unit vectors, E1, E2, and E3. So what this means is for E sub J squared equals to positive one, and J here, J here is equal to one, two, or three. So this will be the space that we're working in. And for notation, because we're going to be working with the Pauli algebra of space, I'm going to be using a slightly different notation. Traditionally in geometric algebra you write like a 1, e1, e2, e3, e12, e23, e31, e123. I'm going to be using this notation here. I'm going to be using sigma t just because these these things right here, they mean the exact same thing. And I'll only be I'll only be using this sometimes when it's really really necessary. But the reason why I'll be writing it like this will be made clearer in a second. Um, I will denote E1 as sigma x, E2 as sigma y, E3 as sigma z, E1, 2, 3 as uh, xy, sigma xy, sigma yz, sigma z x. And then finally, I will be denoting this as i. Or uh, there are actually, there are different one, ways that are equivalent. I sigma t or sigma x y z. I will typically just do this, just do the i here. I know this can be kind of or kind of confusing at first, but it's really important to realize that when I write these things out, they are the same. And when I write this, it's the same as one. And the reason why this notation is chosen is because of this um, because of the fact that there are matrices that correspond to this. So this would just be your unit matrix of two by two, a two by two unit matrix. But there's sigma x in physics, which corresponds to zero, one, uh, uh, one, zero. And then you have sigma y, which is equal to, zero negative i i zero and you have sigma z equal to uh, one negative one zero zero i will not be using matrices in this video but this is the reason why everything is relabeled with sigma it is because they are related to the Pauli matrices of the Pauli algebra of space now, some further notation is 
the in there's the inversion or the not not the inverse of a product but the inversion conjugation so i'll just do this in version conjugation and for a general element g in g3 i denote the inversion as such with a little minus sign up the top and that is the same as negating all of the vectors in it which ends up affecting only the components of g that have odd grades and likewise I will denote the oh let me write that better reversion conjugation I will write the reversion conjugation as for, for a G and G3 it'll be G with a little dagger up at the top right and this just reverses the order of all products in uh, the uh, in the components so it doesn't affect vectors it does however affect bivectors vectors and tri vectors now the last notation is Clifford conjugation. Let me write that better. Clifford conjugation. I could have just copied that, but I kind of just got into the flow of writing. So for an, a G in G3, you have G Clifford, which I will write with a tilde, which goes against uh, there there's a group in geometric algebra which denotes reversion like this with a tilde i will not be doing that i very much like the dagger so i will continue with the dagger so this is equal to g minus that that whole thing daggered equal to g daggered minus and it's just like doing both of these conjugations. So you end up with G naught minus G1 minus G2 plus G3. And so these are the basics of this algebra. And we will be looking at relativity using it in the further videos.